Has this girl ever seen moisturizer? Kelty, you really need a facial. Why does she have the personality of a 16 year old with the face of a 50 year old? Has she ever used sunscreen? What is with the wrinkles? Can she not afford skincare? Why does she look 80? Why are her hands so patchy? Why does her face never match her body? Does this girl ever drink water? Hi, my name's Kelty, and here's my skin journey of how I went from this to this in 30 days. Background, guys, I hear you. I hear the comments. I've heard them time and again. Do you think I wanna wake up with a perfect face? Yes. Do I? No. And I hit a breaking point. Here is where it all started. So here's my skin day one of the challenge. I just got up. My skin is a lot better than it used to be in like this picture uh, because like I've said, I've spent the last month is trying to get it better, but still like I haven't like fully committed into this. So this is kind of my starting point. You'll see. Hopefully my camera can pick up most of this. See, I still get like a bunch of red marks. Like this is like an any pimple, like it would kind of hurt. I tried to pop it, which is bad. I'm gonna try to stop popping these. I get blackheads all on my nose, dry skin under hair, these bumps. You'll see, and every morning I just make up with this redness, just this red tint. I always have some kind of patches there. Honestly, like discoloration there. See, always, always blackheads, blackheads here, blackheads, blackheads. And sometimes we'll get pimples around here. And my skin is a lot smoother. Like the roughness of my nose used to be everywhere. See, this is smoothed out quite a bit because I started exfoliating. But yeah, the goal is just breakouts always happen. Smooth skin and get rid of the redness. And we'll see what happens. Back in junior high, I remember my first skincare product I bought. It dried out my skin, I had pimples, and that's what you're supposed to do. Dry out pimples. Little did I know, it took me 10 years to realize I had pimples because I have chronically dry skin. And I was using these products to dry my skin more. I never left the house without makeup, but it was confusing because I have a very natural look to my makeup. I don't use a lot of makeup, but yet I would not leave the house without foundation. But foundation never looked good on me. I didn't understand my skin type. It was red, it was patchy, it had pimples. There was pimples and blackheads, but I had dry skin, it was rough, and there was these dots at the bottom of my chin. I just, what were they? And I didn't get it and I was always so self-conscious about it. Embarrassing, but I definitely just had a F this moment. So my time of the month just started, like today, like last hour, I think it's just about to start. And my face just died today, like pimples, oily, everything. I went out drinking last night, it was just everything. And I was just, these pimples were just staring at me. And I started popping these three, and then I just went after my blackheads and everything. Yeah, my skin is just dead now. So, and I have to stop doing this because if I want to actually get anywhere, like this is the biggest issue. I just have to like not touch it even when I break out like this. So, can't beat myself up. It's done. Tomorrow's a new day. I got this. Uh, I played university basketball and I was the girl on the basketball team that always had makeup. I just couldn't be without some form of foundation on my face at all times. And because I started a YouTube channel, I started becoming hyper-focused of it. I see it more often. And about a year ago, I'd say, first time I decided to do like facials to that, but I didn't have a lot of money, so I couldn't really do anything. Because I was just confused. I kind of just accepted that was how my skin is because I never go to bed without washing my face. No matter for years, no matter how drunk I am, I use a moisturizer in the morning, moisturizer at night, and then I would try the toners. I'd do this. I always had a skincare routine since I was in grade seven. So I just kind of accepted I have crappy skin. And it's not that bad. Like I don't have cystic acne, so I can't complain. I can kind of hide it. And I just accepted it. And I didn't realize for a lot of years that, yeah, no one's gonna have perfect skin and genetics come into it, but there's a lot I can do and I was just complacent with it. And our skin is an organ in our body. It should be taken care of. And like this one last night was a bad one and it popped it and so it's there. But I'm doing my best like not to pick at them. It seems harsh, but it's honestly the least I've ever picked my face in the last week. And yeah, you can just see the texture is, I wonder if I can go in the light. See, the texture is way better. There's still a little bit of redness.
I can't see my nose. They're still there, but they're definitely not nearly as bad. Slowly I'll get my face to match my body. <laughs> so how much of a hypocrite am I that I have a fitness channel They tell you if there's something you want, you can go for it. And I've always wanted good skin and I didn't do it. The saddest part about it is I spent a lot of time looking at my face in the mirror. And it sounds egotistical, but it's not. It's ripping myself apart. For years, I've lived alone. I'd go in this bathroom and stare at my face and pick apart my face every single night. Half an hour, an hour, two hours, pop pimples, find, go deep in and just tack my face and wake up every morning being like, why did you do that? You don't have cystic acne, yet you wake up with these red spots because you just won't stop picking your face. And I got so frustrated one time, like why? Like why am I wasting all this time just in there popping pimples? I even Googled, is popping pimples an addiction? Like. I wouldn't say I was that far, but it just became a habit. Every night, wash my face and pick apart my skin and always tell myself, oh, this is the last pimple, the last time. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Kelty, why are you doing this? And I do it. And so a couple months ago, I just started just Googling, just on YouTube, just mind asleep. Things started popping up. And I remember this was a little turning point. I saw a video, I think it was Tati did about shaving your face. I was like, what? And I knew you should exfoliate, but I didn't really, realized the importance because I have dry sensitive skin so I thought it would aggravate my face but I didn't realize why I have such rough skin is because I'm never exfoliating and I can never get moisture to my healthy skin that's underneath and so I decided on a whim I'm gonna go to Sephora and try this exfoliating thing and guys it was so satisfying the first time you shaved that and all the dead skin came off I'm realizing I have so much built up dead skin from just thinking that, that I just have to kind of go through this process of just like completely, just kind of like with a facial, getting all the gunk off as much as possible, and then um, all the gunk off as much as I possibly can, and then just hydrating my face, and just putting all the good stuff, and then when my skin's raw, I'm not exfoliating then, but as soon as that build up comes, right now I'm figuring out like, I need to be exfoliating like three times a week, so almost every second day, two days off, one day on, kind of that pattern seems to be, I'm just trying to listen to my skin and not have exact days but what is this yeah. and I walked to the grocery store I go to every single day almost and it was early in the morning this is the first time anyone has ever said this to me the checkout lady was like you're glowing your skin is amazing what? and I stopped I was like and now my skin wasn't looking amazing I think it's because she saw me every day and it was different and I was just like oh, I shaved my face yesterday and she's like oh yeah I do that all the time that felt really good it felt like I did something for myself I did some research and I saw a little result. And that was the first time I actually saw results from changing my skincare in any way. I shaved it down and it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Definitely my skin is a little rougher. I exfoliated like crazy yesterday and just moisturized. And I'm just gonna be really careful about the amount of makeup. You can see my freckles came in because I spent a lot of time in the sun. I got rid of all the bumpy stuff and it started to break out. Are these rat noise? They're like actual zits. I feel they just got some gunk under it from all the airplane. I tried to keep my face as clean as possible. I was on vacation, it wasn't the best. And I got this nice bad boy here. This, I don't really know what happened, but overall, I know my skin isn't looking great right now, but usually I kind of like attacked it with my nose, uh, like getting rid of blackheads, which I know you shouldn't. It's better than it usually is back from vacation. I feel okay doing this. I've gotten to my skin to the point that I'm okay going in public without any foundation or concealer, and I know the less I wear that, the better my skin will improve, so this is just kind of like a... You gotta do this step, you don't have to. But yeah, I'm gonna start doing this more often. So then, here's my routine then. Starting this about six months ago. Every morning, I wash my face with cleanser, put on moisturizer. Go throughout the day, had to wash it off, put it back on sometimes. Then at night, wash it off, put on moisturizer, but a couple times a week, we shaved down my face, and I did see slight improvements. So it kind of got me, I was like, you know I'm gonna start researching, this is in June. I started, I, and I realized I was getting the comments so much more and more, just because my channel started growing, and it was just frustrating, because I was like, guys, I get it, I have dry skin, I'm not happy. Do you think, if it's annoying you, do you think, I have to stare at it every day, and I just got frustrated, but I still didn't really do anything about it. I didn't have a lot of money at the time, and so I could only, I was so scared about investing in skincare just putting that money that upfront for products that cost so much and so I just kind of started limiting myself two moments that really 
flipped. First, I was in Calgary with my girlfriends and they're big, they have beautiful skin, beautiful. They put a lot of work into it, but I always thought it was just very natural and that they just put on moisturizer, but they gave me for my birthday this big haul. I did this video of it and they gave me a bunch of products and it kind of dawned on me. The products are great, they thought about it, but it was such a self-care thing they sent it to me, like realizing I'm a hard worker. I put my body through so much, I should treat my body and do that and it, I deserve to have nice skin despite what genetics I have. And it will also make me realize that they have great skin because they put work into it. They might genetically be different, but they actually put in the work every day. They research, they watch YouTube videos and they figure out what works for them. And that dawned on me, I was like, I'm just making excuses at this point. I've done the same old, same old for years. I should make a change. Another thing I'm gonna chime in and I was so bad at it, but anyways, a few things, wash your pillowcases at least every couple of days. Wash your makeup brushes at least once a week. Those are two things I know we say we do, but we don't. And I was so bad for going to the point of being like, I don't remember the last time I washed either of them. So that's also a game changer because you're just marinating in everything. So that's something I've also done. If you're not doing that, do it. I told you, your mother probably told you. This is me with like just it cosmetic, color correction cream, just a little bit of powder and a little bronzer, and this is where we're at. This is the best my skin has ever looked, ever. Like, it, it was so much money that I feel at first, and I was so, so nervous. I don't know, this is the kind of like, aha moment. Like, I feel like I can actually have good skin and not be embarrassed to not wear makeup, like, if, I can continue on this. So I did a bunch of traveling. My skin, I started doing some things and I saw some improvements in my skin. And so it felt good. I went to Europe, my skin really cleared up because I was away from pollution, that was just natural. I started using this product, but the popping the pimples, I still couldn't stop doing it. And this is where this picture comes in. I was sitting right on this couch, I just been in the bathroom for who knows how long and just popped all these blackhead zits, not even full zits, just like little bumps. Went to Snapchat my friend, like my best friend, I don't care how they see me, but I couldn't send them because my skin was awful. It was so embarrassing. And I told myself, this is gonna be my before picture. And I'm wasting all this time in the washroom. Instead of destroying my skin, why don't you use it to make my skin better? I know that sounds so obvious, but sometimes we just need that hit rock bottom, that switch to really realize things. Luckily for YouTube, there's a lot of resources. The first things I started doing was just exfoliating more regularly and moisturizing. And then I started dipping into figuring out what was the issue with my skin. So that was the big, big, big turning point is I just didn't accept that I just have like rough combination skin. I was like, why? Is my skin look like this? Every part of it. I, I first thought I had fungal acne. I thought that's where the bumps were. And then I just realized I have very dry skin to the point it like makes a dry layer over top. And then the oil sits under there and that's where the pimples come from. I can have nice skin underneath. It is a bit discolored. Pretty much what I need is I need a product that's gonna take away all the dead skin, the pollution, the dry skin, put moisture back in my skin, make it supple, but also brighten my skin to get rid of the uneven complexion underneath. Update, so it's about three days into the new set of it, and I've just put on the slightest, slightest amount of color correcting cream from like It Cosmetics. And guys, like I feel, I don't think my face is gonna match my body right now but I feel comfortable being on camera. I'd go on camera even without makeup before, but I still like, I would look and just be like chronically and analyzing. But now it's like, I'd be fine filming like this and just go about my day and just my texture is so much better. Keep in mind, I've got a bit of color correcting. Just learning that about my skin just made me more educated on how I can make a skincare routine that works for me. I don't wash my face in the morning because a dermatologist recommended I do all these products at night. These beautiful things, they sit on my face. And as long as I'm not sweating in the morning, they're still there. So there's no point of stripping your face multiple times throughout the day. So I just dab my face with water to wake me up, and then I go into my skincare. But if I sweat a lot at night, like night bears, then I'll use a moisturizer. But here are the products I've been using. We'll start in, in the morning. This bad boy, it's a skin brightener. I saw this everywhere. This is another tip. I decided to go with Drunk Elephant for a lot of my products because it is good to have have sometimes a lot of the same products because they work together versus if you're using products from a bunch of other companies there's a lot of repeat ingredients in it they're not meant and formulated to work together so in the morning 
I would do this bad boy. I'll pick a moisturizer. I do love it Comedex. That is another one. I know I just contradicted myself, but I found this works. So I've been using this. I never used SPF because it always made me break out. And it was so frustrating and I know I should. Especially because one of my biggest problems is like wrinkles, dry skin. Went and found a sunscreen that's going to help my skin improve the, and brighten my skin. So I found that and it motivates me to want to put it on because I know it'll help my skin not just long term but short term. These are the foundations I use or it's just like color correction. It has SPF but I'm realizing now that SPF is not enough in just makeup. You have to have another one. And this is another changer. I used to wear heavy foundation and I've recommended this on my channel. It's not bad. I even have it on now but I've limited myself only when I'm filming to have this bad boy on. And then every day it was a really tough transition at first but this it's the only foundation I use unless I have to go somewhere. And having my makeup on less is just less filth on my face. So that has been helping. So I'll use that. A bit of setting powder, which is a hydrating one. And so it was just like a lot of that, not just using the popular cosmetics, using the cosmetics that match my face. And I know that sounds simple, but I'm sure there's someone else out there who hasn't thought of it either. I was like, oh, this is the popular, like Kat Von D or Fenty or whatever. It's like, okay, I gotta try it. but. No, you gotta try what works for your skin. I was using for a long time, and this is pretty much all I did, is I'd wash my face, and this just shows the importance of exfoliating. I saw these things everywhere, and I thought I exfoliated your face. So I thought I was exfoliating my face every night, I would use this for 20 seconds, that was it, I'm good. And then, dawned on me, that's not what that's for, it's for deep cleansing. And so I decided the first big step I did is double cleansing. So before, all I would do was cleanse with this, but I realized if I used a makeup wipe, there was still makeup on my face. So I embraced double cleansing. So now what I do is I take this balm, it's like an oil, break down with my makeup, and that's the first layer. And then I go on with the cleanser with this bad boy. And by the time I've done all that, it's like two minutes, a minute of each, there is no more dirt in the skin. And then so there's less pollution and less likely to be pimples. So pretty much every night I use a chemical exfoliant. So that's going to take off all the dead skin. And the chemical one is less harsh on your skin. So it's good for sensitive skin. I love this bad boy. I found it really works good, but I still, these are the razors. I just take one and get it. And then it also shaves off the peach fuzz. So your makeup looks better on when you have it. Another thing, I learned to read my face. That was a big thing. Instead of just like following protocols, I started to realize, hey, my skin's looking really rough for whatever reason. It's just a really build up of dry skin. Then that's when I use this bad boy and then kind of use this almost every single day. Unless I find my skin's just getting really agitated and then I'll take a day off. So that's good. Is learning to listen to your skin and what it's telling you in that moment instead of just getting this routine that you like do every night no matter what because sometimes your skin might not need that that day. After I've done the double cleanse, my skin is cleared. I do the exfoliant and then I do a serum to hydrate and I also do a really bit more of a deep moisturizer. And these are expensive but you just use a little amount and they're concentrated and they work. And this has been another game changer face mask. Not necessarily for the face mask. Yes, they help moisturize but stopping me from popping pimples because I still get the satisfaction. I know it's sick. Some of us do, some don't. I still get the satisfaction from popping a pimple. So that's why it's so hard and I found the best way to get over that is just to distract me. So either if I have a face mask, I know it's helping my skin and I can't pop my skin when there's a face mask on. As simple as that. And then also things like the double cleansing. I know it sounds funny, but I just think of moisturizing my face and I try and find satisfaction from that. From this thing, I've tried to find satisfaction from just like getting all the gunk out. And the unfortunate thing is once you've built a habit for many years, a lot of scientists have said, it is really tough to break that habit. But one of the best ways to break that habit is to incorporate another habit. And so I knew I already had the half an hour to an hour a night working with my skin. Why don't I make it positive? So I tried to find it just as satisfying to pop a pimple as it is to wash my face. I put a zen playlist on, I make my room really peaceful like a spa, and I'm like, you are a goddess and you are going to do skincare and my personality type isn't always this zen filled calm person, but I just made my evening like that. So I crave it, I look forward to it, and so it's not like I feel like I'm missing out. Back in the day, if I would do any wipes like this, I would almost think of them, which is bad now, as like makeup remover. Like, yeah, they'll take off a little extra, but that's always my goal, is when I finish all my cleansing, you don't want a bunch of makeup. It'll always be a little bit, especially I find around my ears and that, but ideally, you've cleaned off enough that there's no longer makeup, and this is just 
dealing with your skin. Does that make sense? Before, I would just wash my face with this, and then I would take one of these, and here, I didn't take it off my neck fully, and I'll show you the difference. Like, that had a little bit, but back in the day, before I double cleansed, is my makeup thing would look like this at the end. No, no, double cleanse, you get out all that gunk. And another thing I saw online is you should like pat it in and massage before I would just be like, like that. No, here we you pat in. And apparently it's supposed to be very gentle under your eyes. Be like this, you don't wanna pull. So now I spread it around and I pat it. So I let that sink in just like the serum. And then I go personally with a, a thick moisturizer because my skin personally loves not everyone, some people, this can make them break out, I'm sure, um, a thick moisturizer, but for me, my skin just <laughs> sucks it in. It's just like, thank you, what a... <laughs> Down to the neck, don't forget those little guys here, they're always forgotten, they need some tender loving care. And now I look like a child. But isn't that the goal of skincare, to have childlike skin? My skin isn't perfect, it's been 30 days but my skin is just a totally different. Now, this is makeup on, but guys, I think you can say, my skin has never looked like this, ever. There's next to no makeup on, just a bit of foundation, because unfortunately the camera picks up all the red. I've showed a lot of videos of me without makeup, but I've never felt more confident. In 30 days, my result. Here's my before, my after with a little bit of makeup. And I think you guys can see it. Get a guys a lot of comments lately saying I'm glowing. I think it's that, a bit of just people in my life right now, just loving my job, which also helps. Stress is a big thing, but do good to your body. I'm very, happy and motivated. Another thing, like you wake up with it, either I was waking up at a hotel with my friends or with a boy, and you know, you're nervous about them seeing you without your face. And I, like I said, I don't wear, I wear next to no makeup, but I was still so scared of that bared face. And yes, I don't look quite as good bare face as I do with a little foundation, but I'm not like, I have to run to the washroom and put on foundation, which I know every single one of us girls have done at one point when we stayed over at our boyfriend's house or a guy's house or whatever, whatever it is. And so I'm just feeling more confident and it's bringing my power back. It's not as much as it seems cosmetic, but it's also health. Preach health and your skin is your health and I'm not giving it. I'm, it's a self-care thing and it's been really empowering knowing if there's something I want to change, I can. And I'm, fitness has just become second nature to me at this point. I've always known that, but it's really nice to see that in other areas of my life, like my skin, that I can improve my health, but I just have to work on it. You gotta educate yourself, you gotta create a habit and a routine about it, and do it until it becomes second nature, and not beat yourself up when you screw up, because hop right back on the bandwagon. And day 30. Here's my skin. I did just put on moisturizer, so that's why there is a little bit of shine. But I still have a little bit of pigmentation and some freckles and of course some of them are kind of healing up these bad boys but i have i'm proud i haven't picked my face in so long i think you'll be able to see there'll be redness keep in mind just a month my skin's not perfect i do want to bring you guys along this journey i still have really bad on my arms because i've just been focusing on my face but i do get this really bad like these bumps and that's why my spray tan usually looks really bad is I have dry skin. I've gotten a bit more in the last month of exfoliating, but that's another mission is my feet and you know my elbows and the back of my arms, something I really want to work towards and figuring out that solution. So if you guys want to stick around, if you want me to document that, let me know down below. But I hope this video inspires you guys that know it's not gonna give you confidence, but it might make you feel more confident. And no, I take that back. Like sometimes cosmetic things will make you feel more confident because I know I'm doing good for my body every day. I'm not wasting time popping pimples and destroying my face and ripping myself apart. Instead of I'm taking action and doing something good for my body. And so even though these products cost a lot, I decide to invest in myself. And there's cheaper products. I'm not a beauty guru. There's some other amazing ones out on this platform. They can find you dubs for it. But I just decided for me, I knew, 
I had to invest in it. Otherwise, I was I would if I just bought a ten dollar moisturizer and an exfoliant, I wouldn't care. And I've done that before. I buy a whole bunch, but I don't care. But I was like, oh my god, if you're gonna invest in this, you better effing use it. And before I go to pop a pimple, I was like, okay. But you dropped a hundred dollars on a freaking vitamin C serum, and you're gonna waste it to pop this pimple, and that works for me because I'm not rolling so much in the dough I can just throw it away on things so that was one of the things that helped and I hope this helps you guys to know if you're self-conscious about your skin there's a lot of different issues and no I don't have cystic acne and I'm sorry if you're someone with cystic acne but I, don't, I think there's a lot of videos like that and I never really found many girls who just had like really dry rough skin I remember YouTube about that that and just just this awful awful texture yet not being big pimples and no we all have different skin types it's a process just like fitness you don't just one day achieve fitness and you're done <laughs> you're like so like oh run a marathon never have to run again no it, it is building that habit and then once it becomes a habit it becomes second nature to you and you can do it long term if you guys want to follow along on my skin journey feel free to hit subscribe if you have any questions make this a safe place down in the comments if you have any skin problems write about it maybe there's someone who has a very same skin journey as you that can give you advice i would love this to be an open community that we can talk about and figure it out because this has been just so motivating for myself and just other ways i can do self-care and those changes i want to make actually changing them if you guys have any skin problems if you have trouble popping pimples if you have just this issue whatever is comment below and then let's help each other out because we're all in this together we're all trying to figure it out and let's hopefully we can just be better versions of ourselves every single day hope you guys have a fabulous day thank you for tuning in if you're not having a fabulous day go pet a dog or if you're having a fabulous day go pet a dog then you'll have a really great day love you guys bye